Okay, so in this tutorial, we're going to create some crater on um, maybe alien planet, and it's from one of this project I was doing illustrations for. And I think it's kind of come up with very simple but very nice looking terrain. You can use it in your project. So let's go ahead. We'll create it by first set our radial. It's point of our um, crater. So right here we have it our center. We set our uh, radial grain. So next I want to actually invert this. So we'll go right here, select our inverter and connect. So this is will be our main crater. Okay, and next what I want to do, I actually don't necessarily want height right here, I want point, but I want also effect. So we'll go to modify shape and we're going to do with by using curves. So we'll go connect curves and connect our to the curves. Right here you can see we have a straight line. It's kind of fun because as you're drawing you can see how it's modifying shapes. So overall you can actually go and modify shape of yours. Um, in many cases the creator will probably go something like this and go a little bit down. And right here straight so something like that the one thing if you don't draw um, a very good curve or you have it problems you always can go back so you can go come and kind of use it that original guideline you, know, you can add all those details as you're going so again don't worry about this because you always can come back and uh, redraw this shape. That also now think about this because we have it right here, our settings we can take and reduce slightly. And you can notice it will affect also our radial kind of layout. So let's open one more time. Okay, let me preview first. Okay, it's look okay and I think it's okay for now we can modify later on, of course. So this is very rough shape for that. Now we need to add details to our curve. And we can do this by creating generator. We'll just take advance. And we'll use this one as our mask for input. So if you look at this point, we already have kind of start having something more interesting shapes effect to this. Okay, let's go inside our Perlin and we can modify some of this set. So the first what I want to do is take and reduce to the heels. So you can notice we have a little bit more details now. Okay, we also leave as a basic elevation. You can increase if you think it's too low, you can bring back or up or down. It's up to you. But I think if we're going to um, just slightly adjusting and this way will work just fine for now. So next I want to add area around and kind of start blending them together. To do this, we are actually going to use it for an eye filter. So we'll go install first one. Okay. We'll go inside and maybe you know just the as standard, but we'll take it down. Let's go click OK. And I want also effecting a little bit on this for an eye, mostly on a mask input. So I will use the from our gradient. And I put inside, so I want preserve, but notice it is masking only inside, so we needed to um, change this. So we'll go to apply our inverter. The reason is why, because I want these do not affect my crater on the middle. So right here, I don't want to affect this. And for this reason, it's what we're using our inverter just to affect specific areas. And you can see we have to run it around, except kind of clean on the middle. So let's go ahead and take this runner and create maybe one more. Okay, and for this one, actually, let's switch to maybe some F4 like this one. I like this rocky look. So it's what we're going to do. Here's this one. You can also play around with some distortion amount, some maybe shapes change. If you don't like it, it's up to you. Okay. And we'll go same things. We'll just take this from here, connect to our mask input. 
So right here we have two different RNAs input. So let's go ahead, select our combiner, and put those together. We kind of have a nice, interesting effect. Because we can modify, just slightly adjusting, maybe around this area. Okay. And now what I want to do is take this and connect to inverter right here. So you can see how we combine all of them. We we'll look on our curves. Let's look on advanced Perlin. And we'll render. And you can see at this point we have a very interesting already effect. So we have it, uh, those areas kind of start mixing together a little bit more and more. Again, here is our crater and some additional. So let's go ahead and tweak just a little bit more with our settings. Okay, and the one what I want to do is actually increase this radius, make bigger. Um, so we'll have the effect. As well as we do this, let's go inside our zone and just increase so we can have a little bit better look on this okay so we'll increase this one inverter so let's go to modify slightly our for a nice map okay we'll go open and maybe just because of just increase this one and just add Okay, we'll still average and maybe, you know, just to kind of bring a little bit more towards rocks. Okay. Okay, and I want a little bit readjust curve maybe. So we'll go select from here. Let's go to always straight. Maybe a little bit plateau kind of up. Go right there. Maybe too sharp. So let me draw that one again I can look around and see if I like it no still kind of does not look right to me and I, I try to avoid these straight lines because they will give it a very sharp edge so Again, a sharp edge, and you draw a little bit faster. There you go. That's probably about right. Okay, I'm gonna go look, preview. Okay, I kind of like right here, these areas. That's look nice, almost. Okay, maybe this is still be a little bit too, um, so we'll just look a little bit more flat. So let's go kind of going right there okay um, again I'm just looking on areas I think the end area where we do when I do this is need to be a little bit more open and flat so again let's go here there you go a little bit better okay so again, you can play around a little bit more with curves. And um, you can see right here we preview. The next one I want to do is actually add some of the erosion to this. We'll add better look to that point. So we'll go inside the natural. We'll take erosion filter, add it. Let's create right here. And I'm going to add a channel, enable, and I'm just overall Just looking how it will affect. So we can add a little bit this way. Let's click OK and preview. You can see we have a very nice crater already come up with some um, distortions in our terrain around this. We have a nice ring right here. Again, these shapes, you can play a little bit more. Again, with masking, 
in creating so we create this single terrain a uh, single crater and somewhat distortion almost like it's a you can see some other ones small craters from Varanai filters kind of appearing so it's one massive again we can go inside take erosion and just slightly maybe if you need decreasing so will be a little bit less effect and inside a purlin as well you can modify if you want smoother or a little bit more rocky sharp and elevations overall if we need a little bit higher or smaller so we can control our um shape with bit sharpness of this and we can affecting also other ones um how tall it is so right here you can see again this is a before erosion again we can go in the combiner maybe add a little bit more craters or a little bit more rocks and with erosion you can see right here we have it nice of course if we increase a little bit more of the rocks i probably will go inside the erosion area and pop up this as well use rock hardness make a little bit more deserty wear out kind of effect but we still have it somewhat you can see somewhere like old almost smaller meteorites so thank you for watching this tutorial from Geek at Play Studio and please remember visit us on our web is www.geekatplay.com.